much for joining me today. I'm going to be doing a chatty get ready with me. I haven't done one in a while and I do like to put these on my channel every now and then whenever I can just to switch it up from my voiceovers. So um, today I wanted to do like a summer glam. I know we're in March but like summer's coming up you know and I have this pretty romper on. This is from Fashion Nova and I want to do just like a warm eyeshadow look and then like a colorful eyeliner on my lower lash line. You know like a summer glam. So I might look a little bit crazy right now. I already put on um, the Becca under eye what is this called Becca under eye brightening corrector can you guys believe they are closing I guess you could say um, I'm a little sad because I love I love this product and I actually liked their blushes too um, so I am, I am a little sad about that although I do like the chatty get ready with me's I just don't like my videos being like 20 minutes long so um, wherever I can cut footage I will and you know it's still gonna be a good little video but I, I don't like super long videos, at least for me. I love watching other people's long videos, but I'm like, <laughs> I don't think people can watch a full 20 minute video of mine, so. I'm using my favorite foundation duo. This is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless in 120, and then the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in 1.5. The Giorgio Armani is actually too light for me, which is why I like to mix in the Maybelline one, because that's actually a shade too dark. So together, the color is perfect, but also um, the finish is perfect too. I love the way it looks. It has a little, it's like a soft matte, but it gets a little bit of luminosity from the Giorgio Armani, so I don't know. I just, I love this combo. Foundation is done. I might look a little pale. I did um, self tan. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm super, super fair. So I have a really nice color right now. Um, and my foundation is too light. So I need to buy, I really need to buy a darker shade of the Luminous Silk. Like this is such a good foundation. It's pricey, but it's so good. So I think I'm going to bite the bullet and just order order a darker shade just because I love it so much anyway um, let's go into my eye primer this is the Maven Beauty basic beat uh, cream eyeshadow in alpaca if you guys have not tried these cream eyeshadows yet I promise you you will like them go on their website they always have sales always and just pick one up They're they're not expensive at all if it's on sale so just try it I feel like you guys would really really enjoy it I'm gonna fill in my brows off camera so one two three Brows are done, and now it's time for the eyeshadow. So I'm using several different eyeshadow palettes today. I hate doing that, but it is what it is. I want to do, like I said, a summer glam with, I want to do warm tones and then a colorful um, lower lash line. So I'm using the Wet n Wild Color Icon 5 Pan Palette in Sundays. Really pretty warm eyeshadow palette. And then I'm going in with Raw Beauty Christie and Color Pops at Forest Sight. Um, mainly for the greens. I don't know which green I'm going to use, the olive green or like the emerald green, but I also might dive into some browns in this palette too. And then because neither of these palettes have a brow bone highlight, you guys know, you guys know my dilemma with brow bone highlights. Brow bone, like matte highlights. I'm going to use my standard go-to basic Too Faced um, natural matte eyeshadow palette. This is one of my favorite palettes. I use it all the time because it's all mattes and has my brow bone highlight, has my transitions, crease colors, everything that I need. So I'm going to zoom you guys in and we're going to get started. I'm going to first go into Puffball from the Raw Beauty Christie and ColourPop palette. And um, I'm just putting this in the crease back and forth. This is my transition and blending color. Now I'm going to go into this orange color from the Wet n Wild palette. I'm using my Sigma E25, my favorite brush ever. This is going to go in the outer V, um, just blending back and forth. All right, so we're good with the orange. I don't want it super duper orange, so I'm stopping here. I'm going to go into this brown, this like chocolatey brown, and I'm going to put that in the crease as well in the outer V. All right, so we have the warmth. Now I just need to add a little bit more depth. So I'm gonna take a chocolatey brown. I'm gonna do this one, because this is a nice warm tone. Um, it's called Hookup from the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. I'm just gonna deepen the outer V like this. I want it a little bit more precise. So I didn't wanna use the E25 anymore. Just getting it right there. So I wanted to talk about today mainly about like social media and how for me sometimes I can get really what's the word I just get like really down on myself because I don't have the social media like the Instagram look. oops like I don't 
um i don't look like all the people that like brands post and everything i looked on a couple brands instagrams and like the the people that they repost they all have that same instagram -y look and i know you guys know what i'm talking about and i just like i just don't look like that and you know there are days where i'm like man i really wish like i had a nice like golden tan like i wish i wasn't so pale like i wish i had big lips like i don't have any of that and um like sometimes i'm just like i'm kind of like I'm just I just feel down you know that I don't have that look and I, like you know I want to do well on my Instagram I want to do well on my YouTube channel and just like sometimes it's hard because I feel like people want that certain look and I don't have it and you know and there are times where I'm like yes I really want to look like that and then other times I'm like you know what like I I want to be different um, and a lot of the times I scroll through my Instagram and I feel like so many people look so similar and I want to look different. So, you know, that that's what gets me out of like that depressing mood. Um, but I don't know how you guys feel about it because I feel like the pictures that get more likes and stuff are the people that have that look. I'm taking the shimmery gold. Oh, oh my goodness. Now this shimmer is beautiful like this shimmer does not look drugstore no let's uh, move on to concealer i'm using the too faced born this way multi-use sculpting concealer my favorite first on my under eyes i'm gonna go into the brightest shade in the too faced palette it's called heaven and i'm going to just soften up the edges of my eyeshadow just a little bit I wanted something a little like smoky, like not smoky, but like blendy, like a blended look. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Guys, I really, really need your help finding a new under eye setting powder. Um, I think I'm gonna try the Derma Blend one next, but I'm using the e.l.f. HD powder today, which looks gorgeous. But if you are gonna be taking pictures with a flash, this has a ton of flashback. So you will look like poopy diapy. Um, but if you're not taking any pictures with flash, then you'll be good to go. The lower lash line, I think I'm gonna do just a mixture of Emerald City and Fiddlehead. Eyes are done, I'm so excited. I just, a lot of the times I can't talk when I'm doing my eyeshadow. I just can't, I can't do it. Um, so I wanna try out these lashes from Ardell. They're the Naked Lashes, blend seamlessly with Invisiband. These are 424s. I don't know if I'm gonna like them, but I wanna try them out. I'm going to a wedding uh, in a couple weeks and I do wanna wear false lashes. I'm just like, I don't know which ones I wanna use. Right now I'm gonna be going with the Demi Wispies by Ardell. All right, guys, the lashes are on. I think they're really pretty. They're very, like, fluffy, wispy kind of. Um, I don't know if I like them better than the Demi Wispies, but these are really pretty, and I feel like they are more on, like, the natural side. Like, I feel like I can kind of get away with these being, like, my natural lashes. Am I crazy? Do you guys agree with me? Um, so now we're going to get into the face. I just wanted to kind of blend out my eyeshadow a little bit. Okay, let's get into the face. I'm going to zoom you guys out. So, um, on TikTok, if you guys don't follow me on TikTok, it's all that fresh. Um, I'll leave it down below, but I purchased the two of the Jaclyn Cosmetics blush and bronzer duos. I think they're so pretty. They feel expensive. They look expensive. I personally am a huge like black and rose gold, black and gold person. As you can see, a lot of the things that I have are like black and gold. Um, they are bulky and everybody's saying that they're bulky, but I love it. I love blush palettes. I love these, I, I just love it. Um, I loved her highlighters, so I had to buy this. And I tried it out on, on TikTok and guys, this looked like a filter. Like I had a filter on my face. It looked so pretty. So I'm gonna try it again here on camera for YouTube. I'm using the Warm Flush and Golden Goddess Duo. They're not like crazy pigmented and for me that works fine because I'm so fair and a lot of the times I do go a little ham on my bronzer and my blush. So the fact that I can build these up, I really like. But I know that's not gonna work for a lot of people. Like I, I know a lot of people like a very, very pigmented blush and bronzer, but for me, this is great. I'm using the blush in the palette. This is called uh, Warm Flush. 
How do you guys feel about her coming out with liquid lipsticks? I'm excited. I'm excited for her and honestly, I feel like people love to hate on her. I'm not saying she's perfect. Um, I'm sure, you know, I, I don't think we'll ever find out the truth behind what happened to her first launch with her lipsticks, but people love to hate her and I think she's doing, she's being very brave and coming out she's doing what she wants to do and what she's passionate about um all the people that were talking crap about her about her lipsticks it's like you would think you would be like okay no i'm never coming out with lipsticks again like forget about it no she was like you know what okay i made a mistake and i'm gonna do better and i and i envy her like i not envy but i really look up to her in that sense because like me i feel like if that were to happen to me i'd be like all right nope i give up i'm done <laughs> i'm done with makeup but I really do, I like I like her style, I gotta tell you. And I will purchase some of her liquid lipsticks, I will. We're using the Flash palette, and I'm using the shade Iced. I'm going to put some setting spray on before I do my lips. This is my favorite setting spray right now. It's the Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist. It is the best. I'm using LA Girls Sugar and Spice Lip Liner. On top, I'm using Wet n Wild's Cloud Pout Marshmallow Lip Mousse in Fluffernutter. I kinda feel like this is a little bit too orange. I'm putting on some MAC blankety. All right, guys, so this finishes up my little chatty get ready with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I gotta tell you, this is definitely a summer glam for me. I love the eyes, I love the face. The Jaclyn Cosmetics Blush and Bronzer Duo killed it. My face looks so good. Um, so, yeah. That's all that I gotta say. Put some earrings on, so now I feel like myself. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, honestly. Uh, let me know what type of videos you guys wanna see from me, whether it be more talk-throughs, voiceovers, vlogs, whatever you'd like. Um, I'm really trying my best to post more than just once a week. Like, I really wanna get my act together and start posting more. So, that's all that I got for you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. I will see you in my next video. Bye.